The median wage is now dropping, adjusted for inflation. Uh, and most people looking at it, most economists looking at it, find that it's no longer globalization uh, that's causing the median wage to drop. It's actually technological change. Sure. Uh, now, if we are really on the cusp of the kind of disruptive technologies you're talking about, we could presumably see a lot of people not only out of work, but the median wage continue to drop. Absolutely. So the question is, who's going to buy the stuff? So um, it's a fascinating question. Let me, let me answer it in two parts. One, a, a friend of mine, uh, an SU alumnus, just wrote a book, which I love. I love the title in particular, but the content's awesome too. It says, robots will, the, the title is, Robots Will Steal Your Jobs, But That's Okay. Um, and the notion is uh, that we are moving into a world where uh, there's going to be a disconnect between work uh, and living, and I think society is going to have to find some new balance points. You know, I've talked about creating job X prize and so forth, but ultimately when AI and robots are really operating at the cost of electricity, which by the way, given solar and renewables and so forth, ultimately comes down very low as well. We live ultimately, whether you want to fantasize with me or not, in a Star Trek universe, where, um, where I have the ability for what my basic needs are being met. So in abundance, I talk about the abundance pyramid on the basis food, water, shelter, you know, uh, 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 education, energy, communications, uh, healthcare, and freedom. And so if in fact, the cost of these things is beginning to drop. If this phone becomes my physician, if this uh, AI on this phone becomes my educator, and my education for a Maasai warrior in Africa on a tablet, which by the way, they got the tablet for free because some company wants to be able to sell them something, so you give the tablet away ultimately, um, that becomes my educator, my healthcare uh, capability. People's basic needs begin to drop, um, you know, the example I give is if you look at people below the poverty line in the United States today, 99% of the people under the poverty line today have a refrigerator, a flushing toilet, running water, a roof over their heads, something like 88% of air conditioning, 78% have a car. Basically, these are the most impoverished in America that have resources and capabilities that the wealthiest 150 years ago never could dream of. We're moving the poverty line. And so we're going to be fundamentally changing society. And the question is, um, maybe people don't have jobs. You know, I, I, I were joking where I say I'm sort of a libertarian capitalist at heart, but we're heading towards a future of socialism.